vertical video is here to stay. It's predicted in the US that people are gonna spend more time on TikTok than YouTube this year. So love it or hate it, it's time to adapt. Today I'm going to show you why you should take your TikToks to the next level by filming them on a separate camera and then editing them in HitFilm. And I filmed the exact same TikTok on both my phone and also on a separate camera with HitFilm to demonstrate this. I know, I can already hear you guys already going, Louisa, why should I bother? That's so much extra work when I can just open up the TikTok app and just use all of the features that they've got instead. Well, I'm gonna go through the reasons why you should definitely use a separate camera over the inbuilt editing app. Starting with better picture quality. When you're filming, say, a TikTok, you're probably gonna be using the front camera so you can see yourself, but that's notoriously not the greatest of quality. So if you want your footage to look great, to look crispy, then you're gonna to want to use a separate camera to get the best quality footage that you can. Another big point is the ability to reuse your content across different platforms. So for example, if you filmed and edited it in the TikTok app and you downloaded it, it would have that ugly watermark all over it. So if you wanted to upload it to Instagram Reels, they've admitted to suppressing content that has the TikTok watermark on because they consider it low quality content. I know there are methods to remove the watermark, but doing that, you're losing even more quality. So by the time you get it to all these platforms, you're basically just gonna look like a potato at that point. Using a separate camera also gives you so much more control, firstly over the look of your final product. So you can use different lenses throughout the video to get different looks. And it gives you the opportunity to take multiple takes. You are not limited by a three or 10 minute timer. And finally, the big boy, editing options. If you edit your TikTok in HitFilm, then you just have so much more available to you. In graphics, particularly with text, you can use whatever font you like as opposed to one of the arguably quite ugly ones that TikTok offer you. You can make the text animate in, animate out. You could put visual effects on it like we did with the Star Wars TikTok that we made recently and just generally have a much more precise edit and not have to use the inbuilt TikTok editor app, which is honestly the most awful thing I've ever had to work with. HitFilm is so much more intuitive and actually faster. Hey guys, remember to subscribe for more content just like this every week. Now, back to the edit. So I filmed the TikTok on both the big fancy camera and also onto my phone. And then next up was the edit. The first thing I did was make sure that my sequence settings were right for vertical video. So to do this, you go into the settings on your timeline, uncheck the little chain link thing so that the aspect ratios aren't locked and just swap the numbers around. So make the width 1080 and the height 1920. And the next thing I did was just go through, bring all of my footage that I wanted onto the timeline and change the rotation and scale as needed to make it fit in in the timeline. Now, if you have ordinary horizontal footage that you are hoping to repurpose for TikTok, one of the ways you can do this is to stack it on top of each other because you've got all of this space that you can use up. So I used masking on my shot where I had the three different methods stacked on top of each other to make the text reveal as I scooted past the screen, which was very fun. So I did this by just bringing everything into a composite shot. So I had the three pieces of video on top of each other adding the text and then just going through and just manually keyframing every couple of frames as I slowly revealed the text. So next up, I headed over to artlist.io to pick out some royalty free music to use in the background of my TikTok. I headed over to the groovy section because that's pretty much where you find me every time. And I found a song that was just, it just called to me, it was perfect. So imported that into my project and then I began cutting my footage to the beat. Now there was one shot of me sticking my head out of a car that I used in this TikTok that wasn't filmed specifically for this project. It was something that I was repurposing from an old project. So this wasn't filmed vertically, obviously. So when I dragged this out onto the timeline, I noticed that there was quite a lot of dead space as the car was moving across the screen. So I just decided to keyframe the position. So I stayed in the middle of the shot the whole way across. Now, because this TikTok is quite fast paced, quite exciting, and I wanted to make sure that I got all of the action into each of the shots, I used a lot of speed ramps, which is where part of the footage goes faster and then it starts slowing down or starts slow and gets faster. So to do this, I would drag the longer clip onto the timeline that I'd like to fit into a smaller gap. And then I'll use the rate stretch tool, which is the S on your keyboard as your keyboard shortcut, just as a FYI. So when you use this tool and you shorten a clip, you're not actually losing any of the content in the clip, you're just making it faster. And if you stretch it out, then you make it slower. So you can make the clip as long as the gap in your timeline. TikTok has an option while you're filming to kind of touch up your skin, make you look more airbrushed. 
Hit Film has this too. We have Pro Skin Retouch, which is an effect that you can just drag onto your footage and just play around with until you look beautiful. And then finally, exporting your TikTok. So to do this, head to the Export tab, enter presets, and as you can see, HitFilm has quite a lot already on offer. None of them are gonna give us exactly what we want, so we're going to create a new preset. So make sure this is set to MP4, give it a nice name, and make sure that the dimensions, frame rate, and sample rate are set to from source. And there we go, my TikTok is now ready to go out into the world. So let's take a look at how I did a similar thing using the TikTok app. This starts off much more simple. So I shot the TikTok straight into the app, just clicking the button on and off for each of the different takes that I was making and just filmed it in chronological order. Now, once you've started filming into the TikTok app, it doesn't give you the option to then add in clips from your camera roll, which was a bit of a situation that I found myself in, but I managed to get around this by using the green screen video effect that's built into TikTok and then just pointing the camera at the ceiling so you couldn't see any of me. So it just looked like I'd been able to drag the clip in. Now, for some reason, when I added the green screen effect clip onto my TikTok, it took away my option to reorder clips the button just disappeared. I don't know why, and I couldn't make it come back. So that's why the TikTok made on the phone has all of the clips in sections. So all of the wheelie chair, all of the roller skate, all of the skateboard, all in their sections because I couldn't reorder them. TikTok wouldn't let me. And then at this point, I started adding the text to the screen. I went through all of the options of fonts and found the one that I hated the least, put some colors on it and just set the durations of them because you can't animate them in the TikTok app. You can just choose what points of the video that they're on screen for. So I just did this the whole way through and that's basically all you can do in the TikTok app. So the video is finished and ready to go into the world. And you know what? It's a pretty decent video, but to be honest, it's got absolutely nothing on the one that I managed to create in HitFilm, but you know, maybe I'm biased. Now it's time for you guys to be the judge. I've uploaded both TikToks to the FX Home TikTok account. So go over there, give them a view and let us know which one you think is better. And maybe give us a follow while you're over there because you know, you're already there, might as well. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe if you would like to see more filmmaking tutorials and editing tips in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.